The manufacturers of James Bond's rides has come up with a masterpiece and this time around it's an all-electric luxury brand. The 2023 Aston Martin Lagonda is a new station wagon model from the iconic British automaker. The James Bond's EV possesses clear elements of the Vision concept and some design cues from super yachts. The Lagonda All-Terrain will ride on the same chassis as the Aston Martin DBX and will have performance capabilities similar to the company's 007 gasoline-powered counterparts and also a range of 300 miles between charges. So why should any lover of luxury EVs look forward to the All-Terrain? What are its exceptional features? Let's find out. The Lagonda brand has been dormant for a long time, and the production of the 2023 Lagonda is part of the efforts made by Aston Martin to relaunch the century-old brand. Lagonda's goal is to become the world's first zero-emission luxury brand, and to achieve this feat, the all-terrain vehicle will feature all of the recent innovations in electrification and autonomous driving. The futuristic design of this EV appeals to the spirit of adventure, have you ever wondered how James Bond felt whilst driving in the movies? Well, the Lagonda gives off the exquisite feeling of being in the plot of the latest Bond film. According to the automaker, the new all-terrain will offer superior driver, passenger and cargo space thanks to the flat floor. This long hatchback will also include what is described as a rear shelf. This will slide out to provide seating for extraordinary views of the countryside. A larger percent of the vehicle's stiffness will come from the floor, which is where the batteries are stored. The absence of an engine, exhaust, driveline or gas tank make the all-terrain one of the most extreme versions of the new design language. The windshield starts above the front axle line. It will help protect the owner and also give a good view of everything in front of you. The interior of the vehicle will be similar to that of a limousine. The cabin uses natural materials like cashmere and does away with conventional air vents and speaker grills. Cashmere is a special type of wool that has been used in making clothes for years. Luxury automakers are starting to imitate the fashion industry by using the cashmere material to make the interior of vehicles. It has become a symbol of social status and luxury around the world. In selecting the materials and mood of the cabin, the manufacturer aims to make as a seamless transition between the vehicle and the owner's home. Aston Martin also imagines the owner to be pioneering and eco-conscious. Whilst on excursions, the driver will be able to rotate and then entertain guests in the back. The steering wheel can also be moved from one side of the cabin to the other, so the Lagonda can be both left and right-hand drive. The Lagonda All-Terrain will also include the latest safety and driver assistance technology. The Vision concept also offers the latest in self-driving technology. It is connected to the internet and the car can take control on all recognisable roads. The Lagonda All-Terrain will most likely have this feature as well. Another unique feature that's worth mentioning is the floating key. This was made possible by electromagnetic technology. The key to the All-Terrain floats when placed in position, levitating between the front seats. The cabin features minimum distractions, with vents and speakers effectively hidden. The production versions will likely be less cluttered and made more minimalistic. Generally, the colour and trim choices will be darker. The all-terrain is being produced in Lagonda's brand new facility in Wales. The St Athens site, which began as a series of Ministry of Defence superhangers, has now been transformed into a state-of-the-art luxury manufacturing plant. This is Aston Martin Lagonda's second production facility, and ultimately, it will become the company's home of electrification. The St. Athen facility produced Aston Martin's first SUV, the DBX. The opening of St. Athen will help the company to achieve its growth plans and also establish its presence in all major sectors of the market. Presently, the all-terrain has over 700 employees working steadfastly to produce the vehicle in 2023. The company plans to make the St. Athen facility a global centre of excellence for the production of luxury high-performance EVs, including Lagonda. A few years ago, the British automaker released a vision concept for the all-terrain vehicle. Compared to the cabbed forward concept, the all-terrain is more of a conventional hood. There are some similarities between the concept and the vehicle like the sedan's long rear overhang, sleek lines and a coat-hinged rear door. Lagonda believes that the rise of the new automotive technologies from efficient electrification to autonomous driving produces a unique opportunity for its brand to step into the limelight once again. 
And going back in time, Lagonda has always been a forward-thinking company, right from the days of its founder Wilbur Gunn. The Anglo-American founded Lagonda in the west of London in the year 1899. His cars were always unique and different from the norm. Within a few years, Lagonda grew to become one of the most coveted and versatile car brands in the world. Lagonda brand changed ownership in 1947 and is now owned by Aston Martin. Its innovation has continued till date and the Aston Martin Lagonda has produced one of the most audacious cars ever designed. The Lagonda all-terrain concept borrowed some of its initial design language from the world of the superyachts. The all-terrain concept has a prominent boat tail rear end that includes a slide-out ledge to allow passengers to sit outside and take in the view. This Lagonda beauty was first unveiled at the Geneva Auto Show in 2019. It was the second Lagonda concept to be shown by Aston Martin after it unveiled the Vision Concept sedan in 2018. Aston Martin is reviving the name Lagonda with the aim of breaking the duopoly held by Bentley and Rolls-Royce. This is within the ultra-luxury sedan market and to give the market itself something different from the sports cars it's better known for. Aston Martin said Lagonda's aim was to resolve old conflicts between high performance, zero emission, advanced technology and ultra-luxury. This could be a reference to a spat last year when Rolls-Royce CEO accused Aston Martin of having no clue about how to sell luxury cars to the ultra-rich. This was following a statement from Aston Martin's chief of design that said Rolls-Royce's traditional design represented ancient Greece. Aston Martin has made a name for itself as one of the automakers with the fastest supercars in the world, with machines like the Vantage and the DB9. Other cars that the brand has made include the original V8 Vantage and the Aston Martin DB5, the car that became very popular following its role in the James Bond films. The Aston Martin Lagonda remains the most innovative car to come from the British brand. This ultra-rare luxury machine was born in the 1970s, but it failed to perform as good as the company expected. Although the vehicle had its supporters, it was not really a huge success. Aston Martin ultimately sold only 645 units during the 14 years of production. So, will Aston Martin Lagonda be able to pull it off this time around? What do you love the most about the 2023 All-Terrain Lagonda? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.